Cities are a great source of change, of growth and of innovation. But, you know, at the same time, these cities face great challenges, actually mega challenges of today. We are talking about sustainability. We are talking about aging population, outdated infrastructure over time, right? Investment gaps. You know, all these cities have to be fed with water, with energy, and we have to keep the transportation flowing and that provides pollution. So you can see a lot of challenges come together in, in big cities that act as system of systems. Well, actually, we are showing our full portfolio. We are building solutions on the product portfolio. We are very much, of course, doubling down on some lighthouse projects and accounts. You can see here at the fair, we are talking about Simichat Square, which is a finalist in this year's Year in Infrastructure in our Going Digital Awards. But we also see here a finalist of last year's 2022 Going Digital Awards which is the Kaunas Digital Twin. The Siemensstadt Square is a new city, urban development in Berlin. This area is owned by Siemens for over 120 years. Five years, Siemens plans to change the, uh, the characteristics of the area from the brownfield into the new vibrant city development and provide homes, office spaces, parks, and green area and create out of the brownfield a, a livable area for uh, Berlin's. Siemens Square aims to address sustainability, source shortage, and also mobility topics. The main thing that we want to provide with the solution of Bentley is to visualize very complex data because we have different data types uh, that are um, needed to be visualized and presented to the end user, the stakeholder, to make better data-driven uh, decisions that are actually very important for the sustainable way of designing and constructing buildings and also afterwards managing them. As an educational institution, Kaunas University of Technology has this vision to create a smart campus ecosystem where we basically have a digital version of our campus, where we integrate IoT devices, different technologies, and we show what is possible. So we can use this ecosystem for research, for innovation, and of course for education for our students. So our project tackles sustainability issues because we monitor CO2 footprint, real-time energy consumption. We also tackle the aging and outdated infrastructure because we can use these models for planning renovation, for planning change, to create different options for how the problem can be solved. And also everything that we do is, is allow, allowing us to save resources. To develop all this uh, uh, ecosystem, we relied a lot on, on Bentley software. We are glad that they are supporting us. Uh, they are making their software available to our students. So through educational portal, any student can download any software from Bentley, Bentley's list and, and work with it. What is probably the, the, the common thread that you see in these lighthouses that we are demonstrating here? So. It's definitely uh, our iTwin platform, which is actually the means of productivity. The platform is the where you create connectivity for all of this, and that provides a lot of benefits to our users. And I think this is a very unique offering that Bentley has. Uh, the main idea behind this is to have a single source of truth that goes across the whole life cycle of assets, of infrastructure, of cities and campuses that we see here. By having this openness, right, and this uh, providing that interoperability through a platform will actually help the cities to master this double transition, right? And I'm talking about being more sustainable by going digital. And this is actually where smart cities want to be, which is the motto here of this, of this conference, right? Where cities leverage data and digital solutions to increase productivity to improve sustainability and resilience. And last but not least, I think this is all to the benefit of the uh, urban citizens and of businesses.